Hey, good afternoon. It's Pete from FigLife.com, and today I'm going to be doing an update on I-258. Uh, this was a fig that I did a <clears throat> I did a video on earlier, uh, maybe like a week or two ago, and um, I did it on a fig that was slightly underripe and had cracked open. And uh, I, even though normally I would wait for one that was more well ripened, uh, but the reason I did that was just to demonstrate the type of fig that I typically get off of the tree, and. Um, <sighs> because you know if you're, if you're typically getting a fig like this um but you know you show the one fig that's perfect and and that's the one you do your review on uh you know i just feel like maybe that's not representative of, of the kind of fruit that the tree actually produces so i already did that video with uh the one it was slightly underripe and had some cracking on it uh, but i got some that are more well ripened so i thought it you know just to be fair i should go ahead and show some well ripened i-258s and I got three of them here. This one's probably a little less ripe. I went ahead and picked it because it had this giant split on it. And you know, this again just illustrates the that this fig does have some splitting issues because we really haven't had um, any rain the last few days, um, but this went ahead and split open. But these other ones are looking pretty good. Um, they're a little bit soft, uh, but there's no splitting. And um, that one actually looks like it has some, some uh, honey coming out of it. Uh, so that's good. Um, so these these may taste pretty good here and we've had a kind of an unusually dry <laughs> little spell here so uh it take i'm taking advantage of it by by getting some good i-258 figs for once uh so this is good so let me go ahead and cut these open all right i cut these open and uh wow really impressed with the inside of these i mean look at this just really uh juicy a lot of syrup in there and it looks to be just very well ripened uh, you know, that's the other half right there. Uh, this one, look how juicy this is. It's like, it's like a bowl of juice. Um, so that looks super good. Um, so these look like they're going to taste outstanding. Uh, let me go ahead and try these. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, these look, these look really, really good. Mmm, yeah, that is good. I have to say, you know, when you can get this fig to ripen, it is a really good fig. Mm. The juicy one, despite being super juicy, syrupy, is actually not quite as sweet as I thought it might be. And let me try this one. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, not not quite as sweet as I would have thought it would be, but it's all right. Yeah, so those are really good. Those are really good. Um, yeah, so I guess, you know, this is why people grow at 258, so you can get figs like this. Um, and it is a really a really good fig. Uh, the number, you know, last year was a particularly bad year for growing figs here. It was, um, I mean, it, I feel like it rained the whole month of August and September. And um, and then it was cold in the spring to, on top of that. So last year was just a lousy year for growing figs here in Northern Virginia. And uh, you know, I don't think I, I don't know that I got any I-258 last year. It's certainly nothing like this, nothing that looked like this last year, um, just because of that, that moisture that we had. And um, so it's, it's, it's great to get figs like this. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of times when I'm not able to get figs like this. And, and that's my biggest complaint with this, with this variety is that uh, it, it can be a little bit difficult to ripen. Um, around here but you know what when you can get it to ripen it produces some great figs so I just want to do that update on i258 because I think I was uh, pretty negative about it in my last video and um, I think it's it's only fair to point out that it does produce some really nice figs uh, if you can get it to ripen it's just that it can be a bit of a challenge here sometimes so anyway that's uh, that's my update on i258 if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.